Guys, it's your boy Dixon here, about to react to the problem with female rappers. Here we go. Glorilla tells women to be toxic for the rest of their 20s. Don't get in your 30s thinking you can just slash some tires. You're too old for that now. Hey, ladies, how on you? We are good. And I just want to let y'all know, be toxic for the rest of your 20s. You only get one life. Live your toxic 20s. Mm. You never get to be 20 years old, 21, 22, 23, 24, none of that ever again in your life. Be toxic, because don't get in your 30s thinking you could just go slashing tires and doing all this crazy shit. You too old for that now. You too mature. Be toxic for the rest of your 20s. And if you delusional, turn this shit up a notch. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your 20s. You only get to do this shit one time. You could have said, like, you can make mistakes in your 20s and, like, you learn from them to so try everything. Not toxic. <laughs> yeah, the don't be afraid to fail could be a nice thing. Hey, it's okay to not be perfect in your 20s. Living by that word isn't going to result in good things. And real mm -hmm. shit. I, it goes without saying, I think people would look at this and go, well, that's bad advice. Like, I'm not going to do that. But there are <laughs> millions of little girls oh, that will listen to that. That look up 100%. to her. There are people that will listen to that and be like, yep, yeah, I'm going to turn it up a notch. Mm -hmm. She's acting like you've got to be toxic at one point in your life like that's what i'm saying do all the drugs now and then just don't do them when you're 30 well, well by doing the drugs it's kind of like messed you up in your 30s now whether you want to call it black culture or hip-hop culture let's look at the other side look at taylor swift it's all up and up and sweet and she's not dressing provocatively and she's got millions of people watching her you, you don't see it from other genres this is something yeah. that's prominent in the hip-hop this isn't gonna affect her reputation at all i very recently heard heard this statement that I was like, damn, that, that's a bar. A lot of people are <laughs> famous, but just because you're famous doesn't mean you're smart. People who become oh, famous or popular online think If you're that famous, doesn't mean you're popular, popular, smart. I wow. must know more than the average person, or I must simply be Good better phrase, or, wiser, or this would be an example. She genuinely said that, thinking like, oh, this will be kind of a funny, like, ha ah, thing. But it's like, just because you're famous, you can still be an idiot. I'm living proof. And this is the Sexy Red and Sukihana being turned into a hoe. I'm stuck on him still. I'm gonna stop it after the perk in my ass while I'm in the food or something. Hey, let's play. Wait, wait. What are those? <laughs> okay. Can we give a shout out to like, What is that? Just oh. <laughs> thing is they don't even look good well, <laughs> does anyone like that look well uh, i i like the body like, me i like okay, the body why can guys constantly rap about girls doing the same exact thing that they're rapping about but it is a bit different i would say there is a double standard I lost my budget to cover it's her. Her. <laughs> the music it's just viewed differently so it just seems a bit like oh well it seems out of place a bit hey. but that's just me I'm just looking at the ass in the back thinking like, it don't even look good. It's too much. Nah, too it's much good, man. I it's love good. ass. <laughs> oh yeah, that don't, that that ass is right. cool, like, man. Okay, yeah, that is cool. Ah, to me it's cool. Okay, so, come on, man. Oh, uh, I, don't even I like to do it. Like, it Ooh. doesn't look human. It looks alien. Fellas, who wants this? One in the me, me. want that. Who's 
that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? They're not even in the video. It's nobody I know. It's the fact that people are going through the drive through and they literally are just filming in front of it. Yeah, you're pulling up to the Popeye's drive through You see Suki on it, you it back. <laughs> Okay. And I want to suck on a president. Mm -hmm. With a party! It's not even a bar. Drake decided to what take her on tour. Fuck? Drake, so you it's Drake. I saw her live and it was ass, and she looked like she didn't care. She had her, her shirt malfunctioned, and then was just kind of holding it the whole time. It was just kind of like didn't it didn't look like she cared to be there. I was like, maybe you're opening up for Drake. Was she sexy? No. <laughs> it must be a hit, man. man. I'm ratchet. I'm She's so sexy. Ratchet. Same way I could listen to Twenty One Savage, and mm. then I just still go eat my dinner, go about my day like nothing happened. But I don't know. Is it different for girls? I don't know. Personally, I think it is because women have a huge responsibility in terms of society for mm. recreating, raising the next generation of kids. Motherhood. It's a huge undertaking and a huge responsibility for the country. It's like all the women. And she's flexing about always being pregnant. Guys can listen to the shaking ass and fucking bitch. But most of these guys can't just go pull bitches like that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, that's yeah, why it's like yeah. we can listen to that, like, yeah, I want to fuck bitches too, but fuck, if I really want to fuck a bad guy like that. But as a girl, you could just shake your ass in front of anybody and just get it going. Yeah. <laughs> so I, think, I think it's a little bad if you're just letting the girls continue to be a little too extra because you have some, you know, underage girl doing some stuff like this in high school. Yeah, you're gonna, I don't know. I, I just think there could be some damage done to the younger people. I'm not really worried about if you're 18 to 24, want to act, how you want to act, but I just be getting more curious for the, what this is gonna do to the young girls. The sexual liberation of the sexual free thing is great and all but it benefits the men more than it benefits the women let's keep it above 50 it's predominantly black women if yep. we're keeping it at 250 dollars it's girls for sure and then it's like wh what girls it ain't a taylor swift crowd it's niche though it's like the hood rat niche mm -hmm. another sexy red song take a wild guess what it might be about um booty holes I'm pissed that I get <laughs> hating on her. I'm just, I wish someone else had that beat. Cause I not want to hear no f me off this perky pill. Like, <laughs> the 808 exists in the lower chakra of your body. The majority of content that's related to the 808 is killer or sexual content. The original 808s was even off pitch. So that meant it's an actual sound in the track that you don't realize is there that is fuck your no, entire no. frequency. Right. And now today, every time I hear a car come out, it's 808. But if you think about African music and hip hop and what we break it to break that shit, it was light. It was upbeat. Mm. It was the drums. Mm. Now it's like, and all of this is a bigger and it's like 
Man, you know, at this point, it's like they should have killed me when I said George Bush don't care about black yes, people. <laughs> you could like discredit Kanye. Well, he said this about these people, so everything he says is bad. It's like, well, you can you can do say bad things and also say true things. Mm, what do y'all think yeah. about the whole music, satanic energy, the 808 beat tempo messes with your energy uh -huh, yeah. and and brainwashes you? What do y'all think about that? Uh, I just because I've seen stuff like where Shane Dawson has broken down like why we get hypnotized by somebody's pop songs, and they said there's like a frequency used in all of these like top ten and it will subconsciously make you like it this sound regardless if you like any other type of genre of music so I definitely think that there's some sort of science behind frequencies and maybe like artists strategically put some in songs that I don't know about stuff like that but I have watched YouTube videos on like certain frequencies like listen to this and it'll help with that I mean when I look at like the optical results in a book and see how easy it is to like just confuse our brain and just trick us uh, same thing goes for the deeper there's our conscious self where all of us or here aware but then there's a subconscious where we just do things off of our own habits already ingrained yeah. in head. so i'm sure there's those frequencies can do more to the subconscious that we then bring forward that's exactly what i was thinking which is you might not overtly watch this and be like i'm gonna go be a hoe now and shake my ass but the things that they're saying and whatever they're doing, <laughs> number one it's now stuck in your head yeah correct and subconsciously uh -huh. your mind's repeating either yep. words phrases or whatever and now your mm -hmm. actions are then dictated dictated by your subconscious. I even have a book on this, which yeah. I haven't read. Our behaviors are not based off of our rational forefront conscious mind. It's Everything's based off our subconscious. Yeah, mm -hmm. why does it seem like there's only one Taylor Swift type of artist, but 10 sexy red, like... Why is that? What do young girls want? They want to feel pretty. They want to feel like they have meaning. They want to have attention or they want to feel like they belong. How do you do it? Oh, I, I mean, shake my ass. Yeah, you start doing something to the, the young guys as well, where it's like, I'm so exposed to just girls doing this, where again, it's hard for them them to how do they not objectify girls when it's yep. like oh you need to be shaking your ass if you're with me no we're at the party what are you doing shake some ass like that's not the best way to get attention boom. either yeah and it's just it's doing something to the guys and the girls so big sexy oh. red big sexy and then her ad lib like at the concert was like sexy and it would just play on the sexy I mean, he's bouncing on the ass. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Out this perky pill, and they have that effect. Oh, the your bones on the us. I need a perky. I didn't know what a perk was. I still don't really know what uh, it is. I just the fuck? right now. Perk is It's a narcotic, right? Yeah, it's a narcotic. Is it a is it a pain it's like a killer? Pain killer? Yep, they give people that after like surgeries and stuff. <laughs> Violence, drug use, sexual, and this is the hottest. Damn. Maybe I need to listen to more Sexy Red. I've only here listened to two songs. Cause yeah, it's true. Back in the day, they used to just have the, the drums and the hip hop, the hippity, the hip hop all upbeat. And it's now it's boom. Yeah, you go to a concert and it's, <laughs> it's like, oh shit. It's shaking your rib cage. Type it thing. is different. And it's like, well, I don't know what that means exactly. Is that just because music evolved and people <sighs> evolved and like different things now? Because back then people weren't acting how kids are acting now. So it's could be a lot of different mm. things. Don't you? Let us know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Sexy. Sexy. Cool. Sexy. Yeah. Sexy. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Sexy.